Ladies and gentlemen, let's get loud for your 2020 Washington Justice. First out on damage, number 21, it's Tuba. Next on tank, number 28, it's Elivote. On tank, number 37, make some noise for Roar. On support, number 31, it's Aim God. Also on support, at number zero, get loud for Ark. On damage, number 27, you know him, you love him, it's Stratus. And finally, the pride of DC, one of the best damage dealers in the league. At number 11, he's in the house, it's Corey. Give it up one more time for your Washington Justice. And that is gonna be a fun one to watch. We're gonna kick it off on one of my favorite maps. It is Ilios. McCree's gonna need a back brace. The X is on the hard carry for the last 90 seconds. It's been ridiculous. Corey solves the problem with a single shot. X makes the sights, might get away just in time. A defensive barrage from Tuba right on top of his team. Okay, okay, all right. I want to see some talk. If he gets a hammer kill, this place is going to explode. Oh. Oh, the nano tool! Hammer, 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 hammer! No! He killed X, it doesn't matter. We'll get a lane of Corey, you'll owe us one, though. Corey's turret kills X on the back line. That's okay. so frustrating. They need to stall out enough to get this EMP. Benbest is going to stall it out with Primal. Big tick. Benbest goes down. Roar's going to get traded, but Tuba is still alive. Dealing so much damage on the back line. Benbest is going to fall, and Corey is still alive and well in the back. OT ticks through. And Justice are going to find the map. And Washington brings out a cornucopia of heroes, but gets it done on Ilios. Torb, a fan favorite, of course. Corey busting it out. One to one. Now, this is a kind of bad belly, but hasn't got too much protection in his back now. XC finds the head of Aimbot, the tuba, keeping the point alive for the Justice. The Magic with the bot on the point. Self destruct. Should signal the end of it there, having trying to get back into May. But an easy two kill for Corey. Pretty much instantly. Oh, there it is. Took the energy of the crowd and channeled the bullet straight into XD's head. And Ark's gonna be able to get on the point there to do, make sure overtime does come through. Corey oh. with one, Corey with another. He finds the D-Mech as well. A nice little body shot onto FD God. Doesn't mean he's gonna have to play a little bit more safe. But XD has now found him out. Benbes with the over raw. XD and FD God end up going down. Man advantage now for the Justice as they do make themselves known on the point. The Coalescence is gonna help keep him alive, but it's not going to be enough. The Eternal take the first map in the series. So we got a sub coming in. Tuba's taking a little <laughs> seat out back. <laughs> We're gonna go to the Temple of Anubis. Going down, however, to Exi, so it's a good shot, but the reverse shadow from Raw is gonna be enough. Then hold on for now. Send him scurrying on back home, and Washington is able to hold strong. Now, Blizz is doing a lot of work, actually, for Paris, clearing everybody up. Then this gets Nano, frozen up as well. Can't really play Overwatch right now. Looks up into the high in the oh, sky, oh, oh. Perfect play from Stratus. Bexy killing off two is good. Paris having foot on the point, and potentially 33% as well. Yeah, nice, Hotman is able to use his self-destruct. That's just get a new mech, but he goes down before he can re mech Exe with three kills, though. Dragon Strike coming out from Corey. Exe rolling straight into it. OT ticking down. Someone has to touch, but no one can. Washington Justice hold off Paris Eternal on what was almost an instant cap on first point two. Aim God is going to have the amplification matrix amplifies damage and healing. They're gonna set it up right here, probably. Oh yeah, there you go. It's been set up straight in front of Ben Best. Ben Best shield melting instantly, but he's still alive, not for long. There's any boat does find a nice little cheeky angle on it. 
They have three and a half minutes too. Dragon Strike from Spawn as Nico changes over to Doomfist. Well, oh, they gotta get killed off. Oh, they need to touch! They need to touch! What a piece. Uh, that's all it takes though, just a moment, and the smiles are on stage, and they are littering the arena as well as the fans get to their feet. Happy to see their justice tie it up. One to one, going into the half. It is time to move to the future, a dystopian future, as we move to Junker Town here. Find Exy, no problem. Yeah, one. There you go. Easy, easy! Yahoo! I Four mean, straight kills. Yeah. And what was all Washington has switched to a Oh, oh huge, huge kill. Sykes were available from XZ as well. Big Shadow as well. FD Gore gets sent to the floor. The Blizzard's going to be near the payload, so it's going to be hard for Paris to touch. Ellie and Corey and Stratus, they're going to clean on up. That should be it. Nico's going to be able to get to the payload, but they end up capping anyway. Exit's head with bullets. So, so close. How does he hit those shots? It's, it's on guard. My goodness, there's another one. Both DPS dead. That's what you want from your Widow player. The Eternal end up taking it two to one. Yeah, so guys, Washington Justice. Maybe down a map. The stocks could be rising. There's still a lot of hope in the crowd. They're still in a good position because Corey is still up. He's got the old two. There's one, there's two. FD got him. Their best end up going down. This should be the point now for the Justice. It will be, and Corey's able to get it. The most impressive part of that is that XY was going on a really wide flank. He was coming into the back tunnels. I knew being drawn by XE doesn't quite find anybody, but it forces everybody back. Both Nanos on the right heart as well. It's a trade for trade for the time being until Corey and Stratus take out Hunbin and FD God. Stratus trying to hide on the side here as well. Just did so much damage. Nico in no man's land as Arc takes two. Thank you very much. The payload's still moving as well. Close Corey now on the sideline. Doofus coming out for Stratus in the 1v1. XE ends up going down. There we go. And Corey on the side taking out hit. The flanks is what they needed. That's the double kill. This should be the point. No way Hunbin's going to be able to cross this one. Unfortunately, my friends. Yeah, all right. Okay, Nico. <laughs> it's as good as that. There we go. They did stall out a fair bit of time, though. Two minutes. All there. Nico getting chased out. Ben Best doing as much as he could there to try and save him, but it wasn't quite enough. There's aim gone. Takes aim. Fires the nade. Straight downtown. They're going to get the payload moving once again, but... They only have a minute remaining. This fight isn't even over. Like, they're still stalling, and the car is inching its way back. Harris Eternal will take the series three to one. There's the only happy person in the arena right now, but Washington takes solace in the fact that I think this Paris Eternal team is legit. Welcome back, everybody, to the Washington Justice's first home stand of 2020, the final day, and it's the marquee matchup that everyone here has been waiting for. It's going to be the London Spitfire against the hometown team, the Washington Justice. Yes, it is now time for the moment you've all been waiting for. Washington Justice, London Spitfire. It's about to go down, I should say. These guys want to be walking away with a win here at home stand. You can see the crowd is behind them. As we head into Oasis, it is bound to be a good one. Yes. The final pick on the Stratus. Corey instantly answers back with one of his own. Not a dead eye. See if he can collect any sort of kills whatsoever. Nice pin from Raw as well. Lays up the damage, and Corey comes in into the flank. Smacks him down. The melee will bring him down, but it looks like the Justice. They're battering back. The teammate of the class like Corey. The tracking is superb. Some would say beautiful. Paul's bomb in hand. He wants to try and clean this one up. And the Washington Justice. They take round number one. The group is there. Stratus is just trying to get a freeze up. So he gets a free blizzard. And it's laid down. Raw using the Earth Shadow as well, preemptively. Two big ultimates used, but they won the team fight. And that's the important fact. Yeah, huge shadow by Raw. Catches three people, lays them all down on the ground. Easy Blizzard as well. Yeah, but now it, it is go time. Byron 8 on the 2. Glister's in trouble, but a Soundbire will save him. But Raw, he's powered up. The damage is immense. He'll be chunking down London. And now Washington Just has come back in with a Soundbire of their own. Slightly better. Opening pick there on the Sanguinada. d on top. Washington Justice seconds away from winning map one. Glister needs to be taken out, though. Still alive. London have a chance to try and take this one back. Still in oh. the fight, but Glister 
gets destroyed. We're going to see if he can get at least a kill. The rocket punch, but flashback done. Corey takes him out, recognizing he's the threat. It's a danger zone for London Spitfire. So we need to touch the point. J Mac clutches up, though. It's going to eat up the Blizzard from Stratus. That could have been used to close this one out, but I think Corey has got it handled. Slams him up with the dead eye. The shots are on point. And the Washington Justice are going to take map number one. The next one going to be Hanamura. Needs to try and wait for the right timing. When Shadis has the Blizzard down, though, that is not it. Still unleashing it, but frozen solid in the nick of time. Washington going to slowly start working away on Ark actually had to use the soundbar there. Only onto two of them just to stay alive. But I like the play. They've already got two ticks on the point, and Corey's already in the back line. Dude. And Corey's demolishing. Shredding the opposition. The Peacekeeper doing so much damage just to now forced to try and clutch this one, but as a doofus, or as a Reaper, I should say, there's not much you can do. Those for the flashbang, J Mac, very quick reactions, blocks with the shield. The overwhelming pressure from the rest of Washington was far too much. As they move them away, they just have to take down Clestine. One last player stands between them and capping the point, and there you go, Washington. Nicely done, they get both points on Hanamura. Is ready and waiting. You see the speed boost being used along with the sound destruct, trying to coordinate a little play here. Boost the Ogo. Ark was nano boosted instead Ark of nano boosted. Two kills. He's making the most of it. This guy. The bloodthirsty support play. Oh, a faint. They're moving underneath here. London Straight underneath. Are they gonna great dragon strike. It splits London into two. Now, Washington going to capitalize. Are they going to try and pounce onto them? But Corey certainly is. Washington Justice, we're gonna take map number two. A brutal full hold from the London Spitfire. I have never seen such a dominant defense on Dorado ever in any professional match. The London Spitfire are elated, they have turned things around. It's already over. Doesn't matter. That opening pick. They won it on the defense. Absolutely clinical play from London Spitfire. Uh, what a Dorado map. Never seen anything like it. He has to make some magic happen. The shots come out onto Hiley. If he plays around here, though, it is so easy for Cleston to just get in his face and stop him having any impact. Nice oh! by Corey, though. One shot for him. Cleston has to bring him down. He realizes that. That's why he is all the way into the back line here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We see the Earth Shatter coming out now. Raw is actually on the floor. Gets back up though. J Mac didn't get any oh. value. And Corey. He's so good. This is what they needed. They needed just a little bit of firepower, a little bit of explosiveness to get them back in the action. Look at this line of sight now. Look, the way London are approaching this fight, they're using the walls to try and block out a lot oh. of these shots. Highly's out from behind the shield for a oh. moment. Mike. Oh my god. Now the car edges ever so slightly forward. What? Corey, though, they know him for his one taps. Glista goes down. Not before collecting two of his own, though. Washington are not out of the pan just yet. The fire is still burning. London will capture with 54 seconds in the time bank. But I think Washington could be pleased that that was reduced down from five minutes. Suddenly waiting. Ice Wall going to be used on to Jay Mapper. Look at that. Another counter wall comes out from Sweet. It's beautiful. Glister, though, the pressure on the back line. I love this split strategy that Washington love to do. They send the Lucio and the Debra to the back, and they're able to just take out the carry potential from London. And the London Spitfire are going to get a full hold, and they're going to take the map to even it up two apiece. We're going to be going to Nepal as our last map here in this series. Defensive wall comes out from Shui, and Elevote's going to take position on the point. If anybody from London wants to contest, they're going to have to pull their entire team over. They have to move into him. You can see they have free reign. Nice ice wall to J Mac. The charge comes out. Bionade onto a lot of them. And that is the damage. Raw able to collect the kill. And this is the Washington Justice that we're used to seeing. It's fight. It's going to get slept up, though, but it matters not. Elevote is there. Four kills.
Unbelievable form. A Five. lot of damage. Five kills in the end. Counter pin comes out. Nanabu's gonna be wasted a little bit because he's still surviving, but he eventually is taken out. And now it's go time. Corey, the Nanabu's. He wants to try and get some damage to burst it down the dead eye. London rotating instantly. Corey, dead eye available, ready, waiting to drop down. He gets a bit of damage now onto Glister, but the D make is gonna be the most important one. A lot of ultimates being utilized here onto the point, but Elevote, he answers back. Self destruct is huge. Those two kills are gonna stop London in their tracks. Did manage to flip the point over, but Washington will be taking it back almost as quickly. A lot of pressure on Raw. He's got to come up big. He's got to come up with the goods. If they bring down J-Mac, that's exactly what they're looking for. And the Justice, they just have to find these last remaining players. And it is looking all so good for them. To try and even out this control map in the final moments. The overtime will come down. Stratus with a celebratory blizzard. The Justice make a 1-1 on this control map. This crowd has not given up hope. One more round is going to settle absolutely everything between the Washington Justice and the London Spitfire and the Anthem Roars. Stratus just about touched onto the point. Washington Justice, they do not want to lose this one. Raw, he's going to try and come up big right now with his earth shatter. Lays it down! I don't believe what I have just seen! Raw, you absolute madman! He hits it when they needed it! That is absurd! Whether by magic or miracle, what, I don't know, but Raw comes up with the goods exactly when his team needed it. It's just not enough. And the London Spitfire are gonna take the series, completing the reverse sweep against the Washington Justice. What a hard fought battle by both of these teams. And nothing but respect for the London Spitfire, but this is the Washington Justice homestand. And this team gave it their all on this stage today. Nothing but love. And Corey, I understand you wanted to just give some, give some love to the crowd. I want to say thank you all for coming out and supporting us. Uh, please. We, we love the crowd so much, and we hope to see you in the next homestand, and we'll come back stronger and better, con better conditions. That's right, still tickets available for the next Washington homestand. If you're, you know, feeling a little bit of that FOMO from this, uh, this fantastic crowd, this atmosphere, it's quite electric, then you can get your tickets, you can check it out. There's gonna be four more homestands here in Washington, D.C. They have been amazing, so you definitely do not want to miss out in the slightest.